A simple way to look at a question like this is to uh, recognize, first of all, the different parts. It's a ratio question, the 5, 8, 11, and there's a total of 156. So let's write out all the different parts of the ratio. So we have the almonds, we have the uh, cashew, we have the peanuts. And we know the almonds are 5, cashew, 8, peanuts, 11. And we know oh, for all of this, there's a total of 156 pounds of uh, con um, con con quantity for all of all three of them. Uh, one of the things you always want to do with ratio when you have a ratio setup is to go ahead and attach an X by the ratios you have. Put an X there, put an X there, put an X there. And the reason you do that is the original ratios you had, 5, does not say that, doesn't mean that there are five almonds and that there are eight cashews and that there are eight peanuts. That's not what that's saying. It's just saying those are the ratios. So, but when you attach these X's, the, the, the X pretty much now helps you look at A as there are, there's a total of five X, a total of eight X, a total of 11 X. Now, all of these guys should add up for the total quantity of what? 156. So when you add up five X, eight X and 11 X, you get 24 X. That's equal to 156 divided by 24 divided by 24. That goes away. X is 6.5. Now, that X then allows me to figure out what exactly peanuts are because that's exactly what it's saying. Peanuts are 11X. So I can say for my peanuts, you could say 11X, which is 11 times what we know x to b now which is what 6.5 and then that's going to give us a total of 71.5 for the peanuts so that's a very simple way to do that just attach x's to the ratio and when you do that it allows you to then just add it up to whatever total you have so your answer here is 71.5 pounds